Hello. 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 You having a nice time? Yeah. Yeah, you've been camping? Yeah. What are you doing now then? In the side camper van. <laughs> okay. In honour of His Majesty the King, Sister Bear. In honour of His Majesty the King, Hang on, we're speech, speech. Long live the King. Long live the King and long live those new Ermintrude and friends yeah. fetching roundels. <laughs> Cheers, big ears. Hello, I've got me today on my own just at the moment because Keisha and I are the advance party um, because we have a little visitor with us. We're back at Marwell Resort. Um, and also an opportunity to test the swampy wheels on the crafter because it's absolutely throwing it down at the moment. But uh, and Nick and Paul have gone to check us in, and we'll see how we'll see how the uh, the day goes on from here. is our second trip with Amber. Say hello Amber. Gonna wave. Gonna wave. So, <laughs> so we're going to <laughs> we're going to Marwell Resort and um, as you can see the weather is not our friend but we've got lots of plans and stuff to do. It's the King's coronation today so we're going to have a cream tea and uh, yeah, have fun. So we'll see you when we get there. Bye. Say bye, Amber. Bye. bye. <laughs> what are you doing, Amber? Mm. Yay, paddles. Huh? Okay, both with you. Yeah. Where are you taking your tea set? Ah. Get pizza. traumatic earlier on with weather because it was like peeing down with rain all the 
time um so we couldn't get set up but this awning has been like fantastic having having the awning out which we don't really use much no but, but it comes was, into its own it, yeah, circumstances it's a thing you like have that, to have for it? this sort of especially where we've got amber there's a lot more stuff in the van than the normally is like toys and stuff oh yeah where's amber hang on a minute You had a good day, Nick? I've had a lovely day. We've had a lovely day, haven't we? Amber's we have. Let us go. Like you said, this awning, I'm now, I think, going to put one on that. Yes. Purely for the fact that you can just open it up when it's raining and just put, like, the dog mat out and the dog, because the dog wanted to come outside and it's just... What, this mm, dog? The wet one. Fully. Yeah. Mm. Hello. Are you beautiful? What are you doing? Well, it's getting a bit dark at the moment, isn't it? <laughs> Don't you think? Yes, it's very dark. I think it's ninja time. <laughs> <laughs> dark in my eyes. Okay. <laughs> yes, yeah. so you're saying <laughs> that's where the awning's going up there, you say? It, the, the awning is definitely... Because this is the awning we're talking about up here. Yes. Okay, everyone's blinded in now. So I shall go out for the night. So Thanks. good night and see you in the morning. For those unfamiliar with the concept of a drunk bed, it's basically um, a temporary bed that's not really um, for prime time. It's just a way of being able to put up a jewelry rigger bed um, when you get thrown out of your bed when you've got your granddaughter with you for example or if you come home drunk while well, it's called a drunk bed and you've been thrown out of the bedroom so basically you can see there's the seat as normal and then it, it sort of folds its way in with two big cushions and then this basically piece of wood here that plugs in um, it's comfortable enough. I guess if you were a drunk, it would be comfortable enough, and that's kind of that's kind of it, really, isn't it? So, um, good night. I'm going to my drunk bed. <laughs> Hi, it's in the morning. And Amber's all tucked up in her bed as well. She's had a very lovely day. Been very busy. Been to soft play and been running around and. Lots of fresh air, and she's a happy little bunny in her Peppa Pig pajamas. I am now in the drunk bed with this sleeping bag that appears to be a sort of six to eleven year olds Cub Scout sleeping bag. See you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> You're gonna wave. Good morning everyone. We're awake and we had a good night's sleep and I've still got my clothes on because I left my PJs in the car. We're going to have a nice day today. Yeah. Where are we going? We're going to the zoo. We're going to the zoo. You've got a pink cough? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. Well, it sounds like granddad's awake. I'm farted. Oh, was it you that farted? I thought it was Grandad. We're going to the zoo today, Amber. We're going to see the lions and the giraffes. We're going to see the rhinoceroses. Rhinoceros. Rhinoceros, yeah. Like we've woken up in Whoville this morning. <laughs> 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 morning everybody. Speak to yourself. Going for the flat top. Oh, me. Is it like <laughs> that's a drunk bed head? <laughs> Good morning, animals. Welcome to the Whoville Mobile Tea Room. <laughs> I can't find my thing for my cuddle. What? So I've had to wash up in my old fashioned. Oh. Well, hello, over in this van. We're also using electric. Ah, is this the 
Whoville kitchen lady. <laughs> so what have we got going on here? We've got you're Bacon. on electricity. We are on electricity because we've paid for it. Yes, so conserving our gas. So it's a hot plate thing. Head. <laughs> I feel so much better when I've had a fan. It's getting a bit smoky in here. <laughs> we put on my extractor fan. We've got remote control. <laughs> fart excluder. Not just for farts. But also for smoke. We've got the one above the lid as well. Yeah, well that's no fun. You can't use a remote control on that one. <laughs> Hello, you have to manually get on to that. Excellent, look at that. So all the vents are open. That's an event, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so you are pretty level then. Really? We I mean, most people use a spirit level, it's kind of easier. <laughs> Keisha, how's it going for you with small children and small puppies? <laughs> breakfast fit for a king. Actually, it probably isn't. He's probably got a much better <laughs> breakfast this morning. What's the odds that they have woke up this morning and go, so morning king, <laughs> morning queen? <laughs> How's the first proper breakfast in the van? Mm -mm. Very good. And I was putting the kettle on to fill up for the hot water for the washing up and Paul's like, why don't you just do it straight from the tap? You've got hot water that comes out of the tap. <laughs> never had that before. I've never had hot water in a van. Oh, <laughs> So you're spoiled now, then, aren't you? <laughs> so what's the unboxing of this gadget? Well, it's been on... We charged it at home. And what is it? Hair straighteners. What, like, oh, I see the GHD box GHD. over there. So they are actually GHD ones. Proper, proper GHD ones. Oh. Charge apparently lasts up to 20 hours. So, 20 hours of hair doing. Hair doing. Darling, what have you done? Hang on. She broke. What? She broke. She I wrong with you? I don't think it was me. Of course it was you. I don't think you fixed it properly. If you'd have built it. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why are you <laughs> These are great though. <laughs> <laughs> you want <right>, Amber? <laughs> gone. Well that's the first voyage for Holly. Keisha knows what she does, that's why she's hiding in the van. It's her vehicle. Is that you yapping? Hey? <laughs> well she needs more treats that's all. Not 
trusty co-pilot keeps it there. <laughs> Look, these are like, this is my calling. Look at that. It's not just a pretty face. <laughs> Look. Gourmet. Gourmet meals coming out of this van. Fantastic. Are you having your lunch? Is this your coronation lunch you're having? It wasn't quite what I had planned. I thought we'd be out in the beautiful sunshine eating scones and green, but never mind. You see the monkey? Action, you can now eat the scone. <laughs> you like an ice cream. And nice. Mummy, we like scones with clotted cream and jam. Right, so we're going off for our bicycle ride to test the giant quickie and the scrambler mark two electric bicycle. So I should go with this one. Got. <laughs> you got watermelon. Is it nice? <laughs> Woo! Didn't shoot the mess. Cheese, cheese those, whatever they're called. The technicals, there's a projector, everyone should have one for emergencies, and there's the audience. Cheers! Cheers! Happy kinging and king, kinging. <laughs> Dead pitch taken. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Got your wellies on. Here we go. Look at that. 
our own Hermitry and Friends YouTube channel. Right? Oh, really toasty in my van. <gasps> Is it toasty? Oh, you got heat in the works. Well done. Got something Lovely. Well done, Paul. Have you put my cake in the fridge otherwise? Because he's showing off his hat. <laughs> oh, are we all going in for a party, are we? Oh, Appar ooh, apparently I'm going in the van for. Ooh. Is it toasty, toasty? Ooh, Amber, how warm and too toasty is that? Chris, where are your lovely vegetarian things that you want on? Kind of mixed in with all the fat. Yeah. <laughs> That's the major plus point here, everyone. It is a genius idea, and that's by this gentleman here who had that genius idea. Uh, we need to put one on that one. Yeah. A great one. It is wired up by a brilliant uh, is not, electrical that, person. Is that a, not, not a normal thing then, to be able to plug in? No, there aren't many around that one. Mm. <laughs> right. Cake. Oh, that's Hello. Paul's just showing me how to operate the hot water. So we're not on electric, so he's showing me how to work all the buttons. And just now I reopened this cupboard. It's got our tins in. Big old. What am I going to do with that? Oh, oh, you're referring. Look, workshop. 